Hey guys, Ivan here on the Missouri Agitator channel. Sitting here today tying up some rigs. And uh, I'm going to tie up what I think is probably the number one overlooked uh, rig for like cut bait fishing. Uh, usually in current is where I fish this rig. But I think it's just, it's widely overlooked. Um, I'm going to tie this with a number eight whisker seeker triple threat hook and what I do I've got a piece of my leader roughly about two foot or so just going to snell the knot Okay, and then I'm going to put a barrel swivel on, and of course this rig can be set up with all different types of hooks, whatever your preference is. Now what I'll do is just polymer knot my swivel on with the knot with my mouth here pull it all taut That's the tagline. Okay. Now, what I'll do is take my main line coming from my rod same thing make a big loop and I'm going to do a a polymer knot here as well Wet it, pull it taut, cut the tag, okay, now we got the, the hook. Barrel swivel and the main line. And that's it. No sinker. Just a hook and a barrel swivel. I call it a free line. Free lining. Um, 
might have an actual name, I don't know. But what this does, in current, I fish below a dam. So I'll use big baits below the dam because it's an electric hydro dam and it cuts fish up, mainly shad. But uh, it'll cut them shad up in them turbines and you can see that them fish coming up on top of the water, floating around all different levels. You know, that's, a lot of people think, oh, it's a catfish, it's got to be on the bottom, you got to fish the bottom. No, that's not the, that's not the case. Them catfish will come up and bite the top. So, I'll take my, my big piece of shad, cut shad and put on here, and let it out in that current coming off of that dam. And just let it freely go wherever it wants to. Just as if it was another piece of cut up fish coming out of that dam. And, of course, I'm in a boat, away from the banks and stuff, so I can just let my line out, let it go, and uh, until it gets to a certain point, and then I'll engage my reel, stop it, and even with it stopped, it'll still be out there just going with the flow, going with the current and stuff, moving around. It's not sitting on the bottom. It'll be up. Um, depending on the speed of the current, sometimes when it's really cranking out the power at the, at the, at the dam, heck, my bait will be way up top, just up top towards the top of the water and just bobbing around and side to side. And it's really free, not restricted by the, by the, uh, lead, you know, by the sinker. This is an effective, effective rig when you get into a current situation with good current and stuff. Give that a try. I call it free lining. I don't know what it's actually, you know, actually called, but that's my rig that I like to use. A really natural presentation of, of a piece of cut fish just floating down the river. So, uh, hope that, hope you guys can get some use out of that. Tie them up and try it. Until next time, you guys be safe on the water. Take care. Tight lines. Hit that subscribe button. Share. Comment. You guys take care.